Did you know Marie Tussaud, née Marie Grossholtz, was born on 1st December 1761 in France? Two months before she was born, her father was killed during a war. At the age of six, she moved with her mother to Switzerland, moving in with a doctor, Philippe Curtius, for whom her mother worked as a housekeeper. Philippe was a wax modeler using his talents to illustrate anatomy. He moved to Paris and later Marie and her mother both joined him. In 1765, Philippe opened a wax portrait firm and made a waxwork of Louis XV's last mistress, Madame du Barry. The first of his exhibitions were shown in 1770 and attracted a large crowd. He went on to open a second exhibition called The Chamber of Horrors, exhibiting waxworks of murderers. Philippe taught Marie the art of wax modeling and having shown talent. She began working for him as an artist. Marie created wax models of famous celebrities. Two days before the Bastille fight, wax heads of Jacques Necker and the Duc d'Orléans, made by Philippe, were carried in a protest march. They considered Marie a royal sympathizer, arrested her, shaved her head in readiness for execution until a colo d'herbois, who was a supporter of Philippe and his family, saved her, but still went on to have 2,000 people executed using the guillotine. Mary was then employed to make wax death masks of the famous who were executed, including Louis XVI and Marie Antoinette. Philippe died in 1794, leaving his entire collection of waxworks to Marie. In 1795, she married Francois Tussaud, a civil engineer. The couple had three children, a daughter who died after birth, and two sons, Joseph and Francois. In 1802, Marie went to London with her son Joseph, then four years old to present her collection of portraits. As a result of wars in France, Marie was not able to return to France, so traveled throughout the British Isles. In 1822, she reunited with her son Francois, who joined the family business. Her husband stayed in France, and Marie never saw him again. After touring Britain for 33 years, in 1835, Marie finally established her first permanent exhibition on 58 Baker Street, London. The self-portrait you see of her was made by Marie herself. Marie died in her sleep in London on 16th April 1850 at the age of 88. Marie's wax museums grew from Baker Street, London to 25 other locations around the world. Merlin Entertainments took ownership of Madame Tussauds in 2007.